Hello welcome to RP app. In this video, I will show you the first steps to become a RPA freelancer. First you need to create an account. You can do it using LinkedIn, Google, or your email. Remember to always read our terms of use and privacy policy. Now select the option I want to work. Fill in your personal information and upload a professional profile picture. Now select the RPA services you want to offer and your level of experience with each of them. To complete your registration, enter the code that will be sent to your email. Congratulations, you now have your RPA freelancer account. Remember that if you are one of the first 1000 RPA freelancer to register, you will get an exclusive top tier badge and also a professional membership plan for two years. Now let's go to the to-do list section. In this part we must complete one by one the activities to become our profile interesting for employers and also to get a freelancer level one badge. First we will complete our location by clicking on Tell us your location. Here we will add our current address and country of residence. This information is important because the flag of the country you selected in your profile will be added. After adding our location we go back to the to-do list section. And now let's write a description of our professional profile by clicking on tell us about yourself. In this part it is necessary to write a description of at least 100 characters, where you can summarize your experience, skills and interests. After adding our description we go back to the to-do list section. And now let's add our RPA certifications by clicking on Upload Technical Certifications. In this part it is necessary to write the certification details, upload the document and inform the RPA tool that was responsible for the training. After informing the RPA tool a tag will be added in your profile indicating that you are a professional qualified to work with that tool. Later you will be able to add all your RPA certificates. Now we go back to the to-do list section. Now let's add our work experiences by clicking on Tell us about your professional experiences. In this part you need to write the details of your experiences, inform the company where you worked, the period of time and if you are still working there. Later you will be able to add all your experiences. Now we go back to the to-do list section. Now let's add our academic history by clicking on tell us about your studies. In this part you have to write the details of your studies 
inform where you studied, the period of time and the description of the degree. Later you will be able to add all your studies. Now we go back to the to-do list section. Now let's update our RPA services by clicking on customize an RPA service. Here is where we can add the complete information of the RPA services we offer to our customers. For example, let's enter our RPA developer service. Once inside the RPA service we will set a price per hour worked. Here we can also modify the seniority we have. Add the main skills we apply in our RPA service. The detailed description of our RPA service. the deliverables we can offer along with our RPA service, and finally create a complete portfolio to demonstrate our skills and experience. All these information are not necessary to complete now and we will be able to set them up later. Now we go back to the to-do list section. Now we are going to send invitations to our network of RPA contacts by clicking on and by three contacts to join RP app. In this activity, the contacts must register in the platform to be counted. Remember that they must be three. We will write the email of our contact and also a short message to make the invitation. This action must be repeated until we have three registered contacts. This is very important because it helps our community to grow every day. We now return to the to-do list section to complete our last activity. Finally, we go to the trust verification by clicking on get a verified identity badge. To obtain our verified user badge we must meet a minimum score of 80%. With our email validated we already have 10%. We continue with the validation of our phone number which will give us an additional 25%. To do this we click on verify and we will receive a code by SMS. We write it and confirm. Now let's verify our identity to get an extra 55% and get the verified user badge. At this stage we need to select the type of documents we will use to validate our identity, it can be a passport, an ID or a driver's license. We upload a photo of the document from the front, another from the back and finally a selfie plus the document in hand. It is necessary that the images are as clear as possible so that our team can validate your identity without problems. This process can take up to 48 hours to get an answer and eventually, our team will contact you in case we need any additional information. Once our identity is verified we will have a 90% score, later you will also be able to validate your LinkedIn to get a 100%. Well, as you can see, here we are with our identity verified and we already have a score of 90%. So with that we got our badge, verified user. We now return to the to-do list section and we can see that all the activities were completed successfully. So with that we got a second badge, freelancer level 1. Then if we go to our profile we can see our two new badges. Now we have a complete profile and ready to get RPA projects. Thank you very much, see you in the next video, bye.